everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to paint on a silk scarf with alcohol inks. Let's get started. So I'm going to test my colors to find a, uh, a grouping that I like that works together. So I'm going to use this tile to test my colors by dripping them on the tile and seeing which ones go together nicely. For example, I like these three colors together that I am testing together on the smaller tile. Okay, let's go over supplies needed for this project. First, you'll need a length of silk material. This is a pre-cut silk scarf with rolled hems, uh, but I imagine you can use just any length of um, silk and then trim it and um, seam it at the end. You will also need a variety of alcohol ink. This is actually, um, you can buy these in little bottles made by various uh, companies. This one is made by Ranger. I have Pinata and I have also some from a company called Let's Resin. As long as it's pure alcohol ink, you're good to go. Interestingly enough, the ink in Sharpie markers is also alcohol ink, so you can use a Sharpie marker in this project as well. We also need 91% um, uh, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. I have it in a spray bottle and in two different types of squirt bottles. It's recommended that you select your colors in advance, find a color combination that works best for you. You can uh, put them on tile or a non-porous paper to test the color combinations. Also, you can purchase specialized markers that have a dual tip when you use on your fabric that would allow you, this one has a chiseled edge, that allow you to do some freehand drawing if you like. Okay, let's try a, a second scarf. This one is going to be representational. I am using cardboard as a uh, uh, to protect my work surface and hopefully prevent some bleeding in the ink because I want that to stand out more because it's going to be a representational piece. Okay, and we're just going to get started with our ink. We're not going to worry too much about it because we want it to fill the whole area. So I'm just going to just get have fun with it and put it down as much as I want in dots. Okay, another color. I'm going to use alcohol in a squirt bottle just to blend them all together. Okay, now I'm going to, uh, you see some nice bleeding here, but now I'm going to fill in the blank areas a little bit. That Now it's soaked with the alcohol, but I want it, all the areas to be full. Okay, I'm going to check and see if my colors have gone all the way through. You can see for the most part they have. Okay, now I'm going to add greens. variety of green. Okay, even more green. Okay, I'm going to even add some yellow. rubbing alcohol. Now, now we're going to let it dry. I'm actually going to use a hair dryer to help speed along the process. Okay, here we are with our dried piece. 
It did not take long to dry at all because the alcohol dissipated and just left the dry silk scarf. As you can see, it looks like a watercolor painting, which is pretty cool. However, we're going to add some more color to it to make it uh, even pop further. So next I tested, I did a color test and found some colors that I would like to incorporate into my piece. Okay, so I'm going to add just where the sky and this, the green meet. I'm going to add some colors. Okay, and then I'm going to add some lighter colors within the darker one. With additional colors in the whole thing. And then I'm going to add some alcohol to the centers to cause it to bleed and expand a little bit. Okay, I've added a few more colors, a couple drops of alcohol. And actually I'm going to just drop some throughout just to give some texture. And now I have my alcohol marker that I'm going to use to outline the stems a little more. I'm using the chisel tip. I'm just going to add some details in the flowers to make them look like they have more petal. If you have some bright colors and you want to just try a little bit just for some highlights, go ahead and add them. Can't hurt. Enjoy your scarf for yourself or give it away for a gift. Mother's Day is coming up. I want to thank my son, Cadell TNT Productions, for his help with the video work and the various YouTube videos that taught me how to do this really cool and fun paint on silk technique. Thanks. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.